हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बी एल एस आई पॉइंट सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम एक्स्ट्रा टॉपिक्स एंड दीज आर सिमुलेशन सिंथेसिस एंड डिज़ाइन मेथडोलॉजीज सो गाइज इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टिल नाउ देन मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन also if you like the videos then don't forget to hit the like button and also share with your friends so without any delay we are starting today's lecture so starting from simulation simulation is used to verify the functionality of the digital design that is modeled using hdls like verilog so simulation is basically to verify whether your code is working correctly or not suppose you have written an rtl and you just want to check whether your code is working properly or not so for that purpose you can perform simulation and for that simulation you just need to write the test benches now what is test bench in test bench we give a set of inputs called stimulus and whatever outputs are generated with the given input we just evaluate whether the circuit is working correctly or not with the help of those generated output waveforms and this complete process is called the simulation so for simulation purpose we apply different input stimulus to the design at different time to check whether the rtl code behaves in intended way or not so we just need verilog module which is rtl and then test bench with the help of these two things we can perform the simulation and whatever output has created after simulation we can evaluate the result whether the rtl is giving correct result or not so this is all about the simulation now we'll talk about the synthesis so synthesis is a process in which digital design that is modeled using hdl is translated into an implementation consisting logic gates so in simple words we can say that synthesis is used to convert the rtl into netlist it will just make an optimal design based on the working strategy which we are using and also give the consumption of resources as available so yes in case of synthesis we just require very log module there is not any kind of test bench so for synthesis operation we use rtl and we can use either asic or fpga to perform the synthesis operation so most of the people have seen the fpga board in your college lab it is a green color board and we just need to dump the program into that board and we can check the functionality we can check whether the uh, rtl is working correctly or not so this is all about the synthesis process one more thing in synthesis since we are not uh, uh, giving any test bench here so there is not the concept of time delay in case of synthesis because already we are verifying the functionality on hardware so time delay is only considered in case of simulation and not in synthesis process so now we will talk about the design methodologies so in very long there are two types of design methods top down and bottom up so in top down the flow of design is from top to bottom we are starting from top level block and then we are dividing each and every block into sub blocks until we reaches to the leaf shell which is the smallest possible block and in bottom up design we just start from the bottom level that is from the uh, lowest possible block and then we combine those blocks to make the macros 
and these macros will again combine to make the top level block so here the flow is from bottom to top so one by one we'll talk about in more detail so starting from top down design method so here we first define the top level block and then identify the sub blocks necessary to build the top level block these sub blocks are further subdivided until we come to the leaf cell which cannot be further divided so here you can see in this figure we have the top level block this one so we have divided this top level block into sub blocks and again these sub blocks will be divided into leaf cell and leaf shell is nothing but the smallest possible block which cannot be further divided so here the flow is from top to bottom and that's why this methodology is called top down design methodology the design is flowing from top to down now we'll talk about bottom up design methodology so here we first identify the building blocks that are available to us and then we just combine these building blocks to build a bigger block so these cells are then used for higher level blocks until we build the top level block in the design so here you can see in this figure we just check what are the blocks which are available to us so here these leaf shells are available to us so we just combine these smaller blocks and make the macros now these macros will again combine to form the top level block so here you can see the flow is from bottom to top and that's why it is called bottom up design methodology we are starting from bottom level from smallest possible block and then we are moving towards the top level block so i hope it is clear to you Thanks for watching guys this is all about today's lecture and i hope each and every point is clear to you guys if you have any doubt you can tell me in the comment section i'll clear your doubts and if you like the video then don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends i'll come with another topic till then goodbye take care